Hi, and welcome to the digital job site for this first of 10 top 10 tricks for using SketchUp. Any of you that have done some drawing with SketchUp might find that there's some frustrations in working with the, the 3D format. So this is a series to discuss some of the simple things you might encounter early on and hopefully this will alleviate some frustrations. This first uh, trick is drawing lines with the line tool. So to start we'll grab the little line tool and just want to draw a square on the screen. Something that's you know not too uncommon to do with, uh, with SketchUp and when you, you try to draw you come up with the need to draw a square. So here's a square on the screen. Another way to draw a square is to grab the rectangle tool and just drag out a drag out a square and and uh, you can see how that square fills in. So you wonder what is wrong with the first square we drew. And the point here is that because you're drawing in a 3D format on a 2D screen it's a little tough to tell uh, just at a glance which direction you're drawing. So this doesn't make sense. One square fills in as a face and the other one has no face. But as soon as we rotate around, you can see that I've purposely drawn one leg of this first square in a vertical direction, that'd be this leg. So while it's possible to pivot the view around to make it look like a square, it's not a square to sketch up. It's actually this funny looking shape. You can see what's going on if we grab the line tool and then connect these two points. You'll see there's two triangular faces. That's what we actually drew and not the square we thought. So if you have to freehand draw a square, you don't want to use the, the rectangle tool, grab the line tool and pay attention to the axis directions. And you can see here that we have a red and a green axis and the blue axis is the vertical one. So uh, to draw the direction you want to, just grab this tool and you'll see how the line blinks into different colors. That tells you uh, what's direction SketchUp is drawing whether it looks like that direction or not. So here we're drawing in the green direction to start off with which is parallel to this green axis line over here. Anytime it shows up green we're drawing parallel to that axis. Even though it doesn't look parallel in perspective it is parallel. So now to draw a square we want to make sure that we're drawing now in the red axis direction. And then when we come back the first time that axis turned blue if you were paying attention you saw what I was the trick I was playing, but it looks like this is the direction we should be go, but be going, but that's actually going vertically, which is what we don't want. We want to be coming in the green direction again. As I pivot around, you can see what's going on. And then notice when it gets across from this point, there's a, a little red uh, dotted line that's called an inference, and it tells me that I am now at the um, at the point that matches the first point we start out from. So if I click here and then click over, voila, we get a square. Just like using, a, I mean, we get a rectangle just like if we use a rectangle tool. So the point of this first trick is to pay attention which direction you're drawing with uh, by watching the color of the line. If you want to draw a vertical rectangle, I'm going to start out drawing blue here, not green, blue. And then going in red, which is parallel here, coming back down to blue direction, and over. And then we have another face. So we have two vertical faces, uh, and then a horizontal face, and then this funny looking thing. So pay attention to the axis directions you're drawing, and that's the first of these top 10 tricks. Thanks for watching.